Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is a cold, cold winter day today. Uh, we had a big rain front come through yesterday. Um, and it's only about 38 degrees right now. I just put in, it's about nine o'clock in the morning. Um, and it's only supposed to get up to about 40 or 45 degrees today uh, at the warmest. And there's a pretty good north wind going today too. So <laughs> in the grand scheme of things, what I'm trying to get at is our back kind of our back is kind of against the wall today. These are the days in the wintertime where the fish don't normally bite that good on these post frontal days. But if I was to, a betting man, I would say we'll still be able to catch a few crappies. So we're gonna go out here on a post frontal tough day and see if we can put a little something together. I've got a new bait I want to try as well. So y'all stay tuned. Let's go see if we can catch a few crappie today. All right, everybody. We are back on Tim's Ford Lake again today. And I've got this bait that I talked about in my intro. It's not really a not really a new bait to the market, but it's a new bait to me. I've never tried it before. I'm gonna get over here and spotlight by this dock and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here in just a second. Pretty cool looking little bait. I actually met the owner of this company um, at the Big Rock Tackle Show in Nashville. I've seen him there a couple of times, had lunch with him, super, super nice guy. Um, and he was nice enough to send me some of these baits to try. And I certainly appreciate that. Let's check them out and see what I got in here. All right, some of you guys may be, may be familiar with these baits. Um, and if you are, comment. Tell me, tell me what's your favorite colors. Tell me how you, how's your favorite way to rig them? Cause this is my first day using them. Um, but they're crappie magnets, uh, super good looking little baits. I'm going to take one out of the package right here. We'll use this chartreuse and blue one so you guys can see it good. It's got a little split in the tail, uh, which gives it a little bit of action. I'm going to get one of them rigged up this color right here. I don't know what color we'll go with. This color is called mermaid. I'm sure we'll try it later. I think I'm going to try a little bit more natural, uh, more natural color. Maybe something like this right here. This one's called Show Enough. Well, maybe it'll show enough catch them. What do y'all think? He's also got jig heads on their website. This is the crappie magnet jig head uh, made with mustad hooks. That was very appealing to me. You guys know I love mustad hooks. Um, but I ordered these. I've got some 32nd ounce and I've also got some 1 16th ounce in here. Uh, I'm going to try both of them. I'm going to start with this 132nd ounce, but I've got a little bit of wind today, so I may have to go to the 1 16th. Um, and I also ordered these things. I'm curious about them. Crappie magnet slab bites. I've seen people use them in videos. I've never, ever tried any kind of a, uh, any kind of a little crappie niblet kind of thing like that. I've never tried one of those. So I'm definitely going to try some of those today as well. So I'm going to get one of these rigged up. We're going to get to fishing. First one on the crappie magnet. First fish of the day. Not a real big one, but not a bad one. We're gonna put him on the board. I think he's a I think he's a 10 incher. I got a buddy wanting some fish, so I'm gonna see if I can keep a few today. Oh yeah, he's 11 inches. Number one, we'll put him in there. Yeah, 
There he is. That's another nice one. Mm -hmm. In here, boy. Pretty solid one, probably a 12 incher. Finally found a few that are active right here. I, I mean, I don't know how long they'll be active. I'm sure it'll shut down pretty quick because these fish are getting fished for a lot, but I've fished for three or four schools already and I've only caught one and I got to this dock right here. Getting a few bites now, anyway. There he is. Did y'all see that line jump? Cause I sure did. Donk. Not a real big one. We're gonna have to measure him, and I think I think he's gonna be a little bit short. I don't know. We'll see. No, nope, I was wrong. He is almost ten and a half inches. That's big enough. Really, want about ten to twelve inches is perfect eating size in my opinion I mean them big ones yeah you get a great big old fillet off of them but one about 10 to 12 inches is, is about perfect size to eat Feels like a nice one there. Yeah, that's a big one. Gosh, what a slab. That is a big one right there. Come here. Check that one out. Good gracious. Big son of a gun right there. Hmm, that's a pretty, pretty fish. I think I might have figured something out on that one. I think I've been trying to fish too shallow for him. That one was down about 13 feet. That's one, two, three, four. Number five. It is not easy today, but I knew it wouldn't be. You can see all these fish on my active target right now. Not all those are crappie. These bigger, these bigger dots right here, these are crappie. Um, a lot of these really small dots are bluegill, but there's just, there's some more crappie right there. There's just tons of fish in here suspended out off this tree. That fish was down there, like I said, about, probably about 13 feet, I would say. Well, I counted 13 seconds and that 132nd ounce jig head, a 132nd ounce jig head falls about a foot a second. Tell you what, let's try. Right now is the perfect time to try out one of these little slab bites and see. I've always been curious about these things. If they really made a difference or not. If you guys have a lot of experience with them, I'd love to hear about it. Put it down in the comments because I these things they they definitely make me wonder. I've never tried one. This is the first time I've ever tried one, so let's see. Let's see what they do. There's one. I guess those, uh, I guess those slab bites do work because it worked on that bad boy. Huh. Now that's interesting to me. pretty cool 
First cast I ever made with one of them. We caught one, and I'm going to tell you, it's been a difficult day so far. It's, it is not easy to get a bite. That's pretty cool stuff right there. Let's try that again. to get the bite but when you do get one to bite in there they're big ones I had a slab bite on that time too huh. that's pretty doggone cool I'm gonna tell you I uh I always wondered if those things really worked and I'll be dang if I don't believe in them now That's a pretty neat deal. That's kind of the part of fishing that, that I really like is trying to figure out new stuff and learn new stuff. Pretty cool. I'm just I'm just tipping that little jig, that little slab bite, and that's how I'm getting on the bite. It's working so far. Get in here, boy. Well, that is a thick one. Another good one. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Let's give this chartreuse a blue one a try. Maybe they want something a little bit brighter. It was, it was sunshiny and strong north wind when I started this morning, and now it's gotten cloudy and pretty much slick calm. So I've seen a lot of times when I'd be crappie fishing and it'd get cloudy on me. I could put on a a lot of times you can put on a chartreuse bait, bait, something bright, and get them to react to it. So that's what we're going to try to do here. <clears throat> been a while since I had a bite I've ran several spots seen several good schools of fish they just not biting very good hard to get one to react slab bite is what caught that fish I was just letting it sit there just letting that letting that bait sit in place and he just I just felt it get tight not a great big one ten and a half incher it's number 11 though we got some nice ones in there 
I hope y'all enjoyed that, man. That was a fun day. I stayed till almost dark. Um, <laughs> caught 14 keepers and I stayed till right at dark trying to catch that 15th keeper and just never could, never could come across him. Caught a bunch of small ones right there at dark. But, um, anyway, the, the goal today was to try out that new bait I got. Um, I know it's not a new bait to the market, but it's a new bait to me. Uh, shout out to Crappie Magnet again for, um, sending me those baits you know i caught them on several different colors i'm pretty impressed with the bait i like the little split tail it's a little bit different i feel like most guys are throwing straight tail stuff now so that little split tail is just a little bit different profile um you know and i, and I know from my bass fishing experience that anytime you can be just a little bit different than what most people are throwing then you're going to be better off so uh, definitely like that bait. I'll definitely be throwing it some more for sure. But I appreciate you guys watching. Hit that subscribe button if you hadn't already. Tune in next time. I'll see you back right here. Brandon Lester Fishing.